dear students welcome for learning management system department of collegiate and technical education subject is analog electronics unit 2 transistors and mosfets myself mon kumar emma lecturer hms polytechnic government aided tumko this is the session number 15 in this session we will going to discuss about fet definition types and its symbol construction of jpt mosfet definition types and its symbol before going for today's session let me have some quick recap of previous session in previous session we had a discussion on transistor which acts as a switch in ce mode that is common emitter mode and also we have discussed its application you all know that the transistor is a three terminal device having base emitter and collector region which is used for amplification and switching purpose the amplification means the strengthening the weak signal into strong signal either that signal may be a current signal or voltage signal the switching applications in switching applications the transistor either it operate in saturation region or in cut off region either it should be operate in open switch or it should be closed switch when the transistor acts as a switch in ce mode the voltage levels periodically changes between a low and high voltage such as 0 and 5 volts it means that the voltage levels andre voltage levels periodically change agutte from low to high such as 0 to 5 volts andre periodically voltage levels 0 matte 5 volts nide vary aagutte when it is in 0 volts then the switch is said to be under open switch when it is in 5 volt the switch is said to be under closed its condition in switching application the transistor operates either in cut off region or in saturation region we know that output characteristics of c transistor which is operated in c configuration they will going to have three region one is active region another one is saturation region and other one is cut off region when the input of the transistor is high the base current flows hence the transistor operates in saturation region and it acts as closed switch and the input high agidaga base current flow agutte so transistor saturation region al operate agutte switch circuit to closed switch act agutte gotayta avaga current and the conduction no takes place agutte when input is low the base and collector current is zero input low aadaga base current matte collector current to zero agutte hence the transistor operates in cut off region transistor avaga cut off region alli act madutte so circuit condition no open switch agi irutte so when the transistor is in low condition low voltage condition it acts as a open switch that is zero volts when it is in high voltage that is for 5 volts it acts as a closed switch understood okay let me go for today's session today's topic that is fet definition before going for the definition the name fet means what fet is field effect transistor field effect transistor like bjp fet is also having three terminal that is drain source and gate okay the name fet means the field which is created in the transistor in order to get the output current field 
FET is a voltage operated key, semiconductor device having three terminals, namely drain, source, and gate. Out of these three terminals, the gate terminal acts as a controlling terminal which can be used as amplifier or switch. It means here this is the sim this is the FET image. Here we're going to have three terminals. One is drain terminal, another one is source terminal, and the last one is gate terminal. Out of these three terminals, gate terminal is acts as controlling terminal. E gate terminal lo, controlling terminal lagi act marate, and this FET can be used as amplifier and switch. Amplifier of a switch chagi e FET is na use marbo do. This is the symbolic representation of FET. This is the symbolic representation of FET having three terminals. One first one is drain, second one is source, third one is gate. The arrow symbol indicates the direction of electrons. Uh, arrow symbol indicates the direction of electrons. Here, for this FET, the input is applied, that is VGS. The input voltage is applied to the gate and source terminal, that is VGS. If the input is applied to these two terminals, the output current will go to obtain from here, that is drain current ID. Here, the gate and source voltage is applied between the two and three terminals, that is source and gate terminals, the output ID current, which is obtained from this terminal. FETs are also known as unipolar transistor. Unipolar transistor means the current conduction takes place only from the majority charge carriers. Either it may be holes or it may be electrons. Like BJP, here also having we are having three terminals. BJT is a bipolar junction transistor. Coming to the classifications of FETs, FETs are categorized into two types. One is junction field effect transistor. Another one is metal oxide semiconductor FET. Again, this junction field effect transistor further classified as depletion mode FETs. And here, this metal oxide semiconductor FETs are further classified as depletion mode FETs and enhancement mode FETs. Again, the junction FETs are again it has been classified into in channel FETs and P channel FETs. Again, the metal oxide semiconductor FETs are classified in channel and P channel FETs under depletion mode. In enhancement mode, it is also in channel and P channel enhancement mode MOSFETs. These are the symbols of FETs. This, the, this is a symbol for N channel if it is having gate, drain, source, terminals. Here, this, this one is the P channel if it is having drain, gate, and source terminal. Here, in metal oxide semiconductor if it is, the N channel symbol is this one. This is also having drain, gate, and source terminal. Here for P channel FETs having drain, gate, and source terminal. Similarly, in enhancement mode FETs, the N channel FET MOSFET MOS FET FETs having drain, gate, and source terminal, and P channel FETs are also having drain, gate, and source symbol. This identification of these symbols can be done only by the indication of this 
arrow. This arrow indicates the direction of electrons. Okay, let's come for the construction of JFPT. JFPT means what? Junction field effect transistor. Junction field effect transistor. In junction field effect transistor, we are going to have two channels that is N channel JFPT and P channel JFPTs. This one is N channel JFPT and this one is P channel JFPT. In N channel JFPT, it consists of P type material, P type material in N type substrate. This one is called N type substrate. This one is called N type substrate. Whereas in P channel JFPT, it consists of N type material in P type substrate. JFPT is constructed using long channel of semiconductor material. This is the channel, long channel of semiconductor. This, this is the long channel semiconductor material. That is nothing but silicon or germanium material is inserted. Depending on the construction of process, if the JFPT contains large number of positive charge carriers, means in the channel, if it has any large number of positive charge carriers, that is holes, then it is said to be P-type JFPT. If the majority charge carriers are the holes, then it is said to be P-type in P-type JFPT. If it has large number of negative charge carriers, then it is called as N-type JFPT. If large number of negative charge carriers are present, then it is called N-type JFPT. If large number of positive charge carriers, that is force is having this, then it is said to be P-type JFPT. Ohmic contacts at each end are created to form source and drain connection. Here, these are the ohmic contacts. These are the ohmic contacts which are connected in the ends of this metal terminal to the semiconductor layer. This ohmic, conduct, ohmic contacts acts as a junction for the conduction of current from semiconductors to the metal or vice versa. Ohmic, con ohmic contacts acts as a junction for semiconductor and metal for the conduction of current. Next coming for the MOSFET. MOSFET means MOSFET or MOS MOSFET. MOSFET is also having a three terminal that is Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is also a voltage controlled field effect transistor that differs from a JFPT in that it has metal oxide gate electrode, which is electrically isolated, insulated from the main semiconductor, either in channel or P channel, by a very thin layer of insulating material usually silicon dioxide. Metal oxide semiconductor is a three terminal device. And the metal oxide semiconductor MOSFET is a three terminal device which differs from your JFPT. And the JFPT ke compare madre, either terminals, terminology is different. Irate. So it is having a metal oxide in its gate terminal. E gate terminal nali, metal oxide is there. So, that is now metal oxide semiconductor FET and the which is electrically insulated from the silicon dioxide layer. E gate terminal lo, metal oxide in the metal metal oxide in the electrically insulate silicon dioxide in the insulate This MOSFET is also having three terminals. Along with this, substrate is also considered as another terminal. This one is first terminal is called as a gate, second terminal is called source, third terminal 
is called source. The first terminal is called gate, second terminal is called drain, third terminal is called source. This is the symbol of your MOS FET having gate, drain, and source terminal along with one, one more terminal called substrate. This arrow mass in, indicates the direction of electron. Coming to the classification of MOSFET, the MOSFETs are categorized into two types. One is depletion mode MOSFET, another one is enhancement mode MOSFET. In depletion mode MOSFET, it is further classified as N-channel MOSFET and P-channel MOSFET. In enhancement mode, it is again further classified as N-channel MOS FET and P-channel MOS FET. These are the symbols of N-channel MOSFET. This is the symbol for N-channel MOSFET having gate, drain and source terminal. This is the symbol for P-channel MOSFET having gate, drain and source terminal. This is the symbol for in channel MOSFET in enhancement mode having gate, drain, and source terminal. This is the symbol for P channel MOSFET having gate, drain, source terminal in enhancement mode. This is about today's session. The outcome should of the session is the students should be understand the definition of FET and the style, the construction of JFET, the definition of MOS FET and its types. Okay. After this, let me have discussion on multiple choice questions. The first question is, <clears throat> the input impedance of ideal JFET the input impedance of ideal JFET is options that are given are is impossible to predict. Second option is approaches unity. Third option is approaches infinity. And fourth option is approaches to zero. The answer is option C that is approaches to infinity. As I told earlier, the impedance of FETs are high compared to your BJT. Input impedance. Impedance means resistance plus reactance. The input impedance is so high so that the FETs are much used in digital circuits. Second one is a unipolar transistor uses options that are given is first one both free electrons and holes second option is only free electrons third option is only holes and the fourth option is either one or the other but not the both the answer is D, that is either one or the other, but not both. Unipolar transistor means it, the current conduction takes place by only from the majority charge carriers, either holes or electrons. Let's come for the third question. The gate controls, first option, Width of the channel, second option, drain current, third option, gate voltage, fourth option, all the above. And the answer is D, that is all the above. The gate controls width of the channel also, drain current also, and gate voltage also. So 
The answer is all the above. Coming for the fourth question, a JFPT can operate in option A, only depletion mode, option B, only enhancement mode, option C, both depletion and enhancement mode, option D, neither depletion nor enhancement mode. And the answer is option A. The junction field effect transistor can only operate in depletion mode because it has no enhancement mode. It is having only depletion mode. In MOSFETs, we are going to have depletion mode as well as enhancement mode. Hence, the answer is A. That is, a JFPT can op operate in only depletion mode. The last question, a JFPT is, the options that I have given is, it is a voltage control device, it is a current control device, it has a low input resistance, it has very large voltage gain. And the answer is option A, that is JFPT is a voltage control device. You all know that JFPT is a, FPT is a voltage control device, BGT is a current control device. Okay. I'll end this session. This is our team. This is the moderator, subject experts, and content develop, developers team. Thank you.